Hi guys, um, how you all doing? How's it going? What am I doing today? I'm doing a quick get ready with me. Got some new makeup products with me and I'm gonna um, test them out. Not test them out, but like try and make a nice look out of it. So yeah, basically it's my friend's birthday. He's 10 to 21, Myra. Shout out to Myra. And yeah, I just wanted to do a quick makeup tutorial on this. So I'm running a little late as usual, story of my life. And yeah, I'm just gonna try and do this all and do some new eyeshadow and just do a new look. Um, I'm gonna be using the NYX lingerie palette. Here it is. It's quite nice. In fact, it's very nice. A new palette, a new look. I'm gonna kind of freestyle this look, but I'll just walk you through it. Basically, I want browns in the crease and like a nice nude in the center, halo eye effect. Here we go. I like this one, but I do prefer MAC. My one, I used to use MAC Painterly Paint Pot. It's kind of gone all hard. I've been like on and off it a couple of like within the last year and I kind of need a new one. It's very, very creamy, this base. Because of uh, my skin tone, because I'm um, dark skinned, sometimes if I don't have a solid base, some of the colors are like overlooked and absorbed by my skin color. I did say I was freestyling this look, but I think that with brown eyeshadows or with most eyeshadows, a good like neutral ready base in the crease to start off always helps. So I am going to go in with my Red Brick by MAC. I've had this for years and I've bought refills and it really is for one. I'm going to add, start off with this dark brown here. This one. There's no name for it in the corners of my eyes, so like here and here. So here we go. Kind of gets rid of that whole ready look straight away. Then I'm going to use this brown here again. Oh god, let me show you. This Smoke it out too if you can. Because the brown is quite overpowering, I don't know, I'm just going to add some red. I'm just going to use a dry brush to brush. This pink first. With this pink, it's like a paley pink. I'm gonna dab it in the middle for halo eye effect. So here we go. Just place it in the middle, dab, 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 and then like brush it in. It's quite nice though. So. It's like chocolatey. Oh my god, this color is quite decent. So this halo eye, just take it up a little bit and really, really like it. The color's pink and brown for nudes is really a winner, I'd say. I don't know, I think we should add, you see that white in there? I think we should add it to it just to intensify it. It does intensify the look. Yeah, it does. And again, that brown brush that we had for our beginning, just smooth it all out. Get back in there in the corners. A dry one, by the way, just no, don't add any product. Just, yeah. Basically, I added that last colour in there in the palette just to go like near my crease again, just to give it a bit more pop. When we're all done, basically just use a dry brush and just everywhere where the residue is, just buff it all in. I don't, I don't want to wipe it all off because there's no point. Makeup and foundation is just going to go over it. Okay, I'm gonna do this eye and come back, so yeah, bear me. Now that the other eye is done, um, I'm just gonna go back into my crease. I was gonna add like black, but I think that would be too, a bit too much, just wanna keep it brown. So I'm gonna be using, it's called I'm Into It by MAC. Those single pot shades, but it's quite, like, it's like a dark burgundy brown, just to put, just to intensify my crease before I move on to my face. But we're almost done, guys, just bear with me. So literally, here, just a tiny bit. Oh god, sorry boo, I'm gonna have to ignore you. <laughs> Colour match is okay, you know. It's only re recently I've realised it might be a bit too red, but I, I don't mind. Ooh, 
If you've watched my phone to um, video, my review and stuff, my demo, if you're like a Mac user like me, you'll definitely find that the Mac is definitely much more thicker. It's full on coverage, you have to really buff it in. As with the Fenty, remember like it's the consistency is quite lighter. I've used like one and a half pumps. I might let the powder just get it, but I just wanted maybe one more pump. Because I take pictures and stuff and I want to look extra, extra sweet today. With the concealer, I'm going to try a new one. I've used this like for work and stuff and other places. It's by Marne. I'm really like getting into this. It's called the Luxury Concealing Foundation. The colour match for what I want underneath my eyes is actually perfect. It's very light, it's not too kapow of a, of a highlight, but the colour match really does mean I really, really like it. So here we go. Basically, it's a foundation and a concealer in one. The price is pretty decent, it was like £16, but obviously, it's only 15 mils. 15 mils, so it's like there, the price is halfway. Usually foundations is 30 mils and it's usually 30 pounds. You know, not um, not drugstore, but like bigger brands. MAC, Lancome, Forever HD, whatever, Brianna, Fenty. 30 pounds for 30 mils, around that price. I don't know if I want to add many more to this one, but I usually like stir it all in, gently tap it all in. I do prefer a sponge with this one, just because I don't know, I think a brush is, it just takes off too much. Always works. <sighs> I might go back and get like a normal colour foundation because uh, I really like Iman products. I know I've got some obsession with her now. I watched her biography. I'm even going to buy a book <laughs> because I think she's really like an inspiration to women, to all women. And what she's done is amazing. She's a philanthropist, you know. So other than modelling, when she quit in 89, She's done other stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna set all my liquids with powder. So, my oh god, are you recording? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Thought I had a little scare there. First, I'm just gonna set my face with another Iman product. This is a luxury press powder. It's actually a really good color match because I'm used to using, what is it, MAC NW46 Studio Fix Powder to set my stuff. It's exactly the same shade. And it does control my oils, which is good. Remember, oily skin girls at me, I struggle as it is. I'm gonna bake for five minutes. Um, I'm just gonna dust it this off. I learned this technique from a YouTuber. I forgot her name. But when you dust it off, I've seen people do it. Don't go harsh, just tap it off lightly because, look, like this because we want that colour like to stay there so use a really light hand and gently go for it you know what I mean? like that don't go because we want that product to stay and because it's like baby powder it's got a lot of talc in it we just want to dust it off gently for a drugstore powder this is really really good especially like for girls like me like darker skin girls like me chocolate girls all out there or even like deeper skin tones. Because I'm used to black opal, I even use Sasha Buttercup. I haven't tried Laura Mercier, even though I hear really, really extreme good reviews about it. I just haven't bought it yet. But I do feel like this one works just as great and it just, it does the job just as well. And I'd, prob I'd probably buy it again. Because I like it really, really brown. I go in with my bronzer. Basically, it's called Covergirl. So it kind of gets rid of that harshness and adds more of a brown to it. You see that um, I'm into it Mac that I used in my crease. I'm just gonna go a little bit here for like a for like a blush. It's quite pretty. Eyeshadows for blushes are really the one. Literally, like there is no rule saying that you can't use eyeshadow for blushes, and sometimes it's even better. But I did realize that my eyeshadow. Um, I, don't know, I just think this colour is a bit too light in the middle. So I'm just gonna take my bronzer, my Covergirl bronzer, and go in with a normal foundation brush and just tap it in the middle and see where it goes from there. I haven't added my highlight yet, so get ready. So it doesn't do much, but I just want to tone down all this extra paleness on my eyes. I don't think it's as flattering as it looks here. So we're not getting rid of it, we're just tapping in the bronzer because yeah, I just want it to be 
a nice choco glow. So what do you think? It's not too toned down. I haven't forgotten about the highlight, so don't shoot me yet, guys. I'm gonna use... I don't know what I'm gonna use. I think I'll just play it safe and use my from I Love Makeup Bronze and Shimmer. I've been wearing it to work and it's very subtle when you put it on. This highlight is proper. It's decent. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna do my wing wing and then head out. Thank God for pen, liquid liner. It's by L'Oreal and I must say for drugstore, this comes out super black. It comes out the same pigment that MAC would. For example, I have the, the MAC um, fluid, fluid liner thing in the pot, right? And that is deeply pigmented. Like, if you want to look, like, you go for that. But I'd say for a stick that you can just wipe on, L'Oreal is doing it for me. So I'm just quickly, I'm just gonna quickly do a wing. I've gone ahead and added some lashes on camera. As you can see, very big, glam lashes. These lashes, um, they were there, so I just kind of used them. Because I can feel like the oils melt into my face, I don't want to use setting spray for this, so I'm just going to leave it here. But I will say, once I did line, put on the lashes, I went over them, again, with eyeliner, just to get rid of all the gluey bits. I'm just going to do my lips quickly, then literally put on some jeans and a nice top and then bounce out. Let me try this and hopefully it works. Um, I'm going to be using NYX's Mahogany to line my lips. It's brown basically and it does the job, it's quite nice. So um, I always find it weird with lips. I always, because I never really wear lipsticks unless it's like bold, but like I always just leave it to Carmex and Vaseline so it just looks like there's a shine there. But today it's going to be full on nude so I do have to get with it basically. Uh, yeah. It's like a brick colour, to be honest. I'm going to be using a Max Velvet Teddy. I can't find my other one. It's by Mac as well. It's like Angel and it's like really, really pink. I've still, it's the first ever Mac lipstick I bought. I was inspired by Esther, one of my favourite YouTubers that I watch. I don't know if she does any videos anymore, but she had a nude and it was this one. But yeah, let me just paint that in. You know, I have a darker lip liner that I'm going to take advantage of and use right now. It's by Sleek and it's called Coco. To be honest, for dark lip liners, it's like right in line next to Chestnut, but just a bit deeper. So I'm just going to line it so it gets rid of the glare. But yeah, here's the finished look, guys. Oh, is there anything else I forgot to do? No, but I really like this lip. It's really pretty. So yeah, guys. Yes, guys, this is the finished look. Let me just let you have a little look. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you liked it and let me take a few snaps and bounce out. So yeah. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, Please, please, please don't forget to um, click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you around and do more stuff for you guys. But yeah, welcome back everyone. This is the finished look. I've gone for like a date night look. As you can see, it's like an evening. It doesn't even have to be date night, but it's just like an evening look. So I hope you all like it. It's very, I don't know, middle nude thing. Um, today, actually, I'm going to my friend's birthday party. Not party, birthday dinner. Or party <laughs> dinner. Um, but yeah, I'm running a little late, but... I think I can get there just in time if I speed. And yeah, let me know what you think. Um, talk to me down below in the comment section. Tell me if you like it, if you're not. You know what sort of styles you're into. If there's something you'd wear. But yeah, it's like a get quick, get ready, get ready with me. Yeah, makeup look. This is my first like ever Mac lipstick I bought. I bought it years ago, and it still hasn't run out. So Mac stay winning. I'm gonna try and vlog if I can. We'll see how it goes. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you loved it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you're all doing well. Have a blessed day, morning, evening. Have a good evening as well if you're going out too like me. Stay blessed and yes, I'll see you next one. Bye guys.